This is Teacher SP and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, pag-aralan po natin ngayon guys kung paano ba kukunin ang total area and volume of a cube given the face diagonal. From my previous video, ako po ay nagbigay ng example wherein ang kanyang um, given ay edge. So, somebody requested this from the from the college college students po siya na nag-request sa akin. So, kung sino man po ang nag-request, this is for you. And if you're interested with this lesson, stay tuned. Formulas of the length of a diagonal is E square root of 3. Where E here is the edge and square root of 3 is constant. While the total area that is equal to 6E squared and the volume is equal to E cubed. If we are going to apply our formula in our example number 1. I have here an example. A 1 meter stick fits the cubical container. Find the volume and the total area of a container. So, alam po natin na kapag inilagay mo po ang 1 meter stick sa loob po ng cubical container na fitted pahiga po. And that pahiga, we call that diagonal. And the given diagonal, guys, is what we call to 1 meter. And the formula for diagonal is E square root of 3 where E is the edge. We cannot solve for the total area and a volume without the given edge. So, let us substitute... So, ang diagonal po natin, guys, is 1 times e square root of 3. So, in order to get the value of the edge, we are going to divide both equation of square root of 3. And what is the main purpose for that? We are going to cancel it. Para cancel ang maiiwan lang po niya ay edge that is equal to 1 over square root of 3. Now, there is a radical. If we are going to, I'm going to ask you, is it our simplified answer? Hindi po nakasimplified. Take note, if your denominator is in radical, that is not in the lowest term. And what term are, what process are you going to use in order that you are going to simplify this number? The term there is what do you call the rationalizing the denominator. Ia-apply nyo na po yung algebra ninyo dito sa ating problem. Okay, this is an application of algebra. If you could still remember, what is a rationalizing the denominator? Rationalizing the, the denominator, it is a process of multiplying both numerator and denominator by the denominator so that we will be able to simplify your answer. Since the denominator is equal to square root of 3, then we are going to multiply both equation by square root of 3 and square root of 3. This is a whole number. This is a radical or a radicand. We cannot combine it. So if you will multiply 1 times square root of 3, that is equal to 1 square root of 3, and ito naman po, pwede na po natin i-combine kasi pareho po silang nakaradikan. So, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is equal to square root of 9. So, let us simplify your answer. So, that is equal to 1 square root of 3 over, the, we know that square root of 9 is a perfect square. So, anong square root ng 9? Hindi po ba 3? So, therefore, ang ating edge na po ay 1 square root of 3 over 3. Or pwede din po, uh, guys, na isulat po ninyo square root of 3 over 3. So, kailangan, take note, lahat po ng number na may radicand, basta sa numerator, nakasimplify na po yon. But, kapag nasa denominator po ang radicand, you need to use the process na tinatawag natin na rationalizing the denominator. Okay? So, Okay, now, we have already our edge, so square root of 3 over 3, let us simplify, let us uh, substitute now po ang ating given. Ito po yung edge po natin, class. Okay, now, ngayon, ang igagawin mo po ay let us get the total area, TA meaning total area. 
So 6 times the quantity of our edge, which is equal to square root of 3 over 3 raised to the second power. So if you will simplify this, total area 6 times. Ano po yung index po ng square root? Diba 2? So cancel mo lang yung index. Index. So ang matitira po ay 3 over Ito yung 3 na ito sa ibaba, isi-square mo po yun. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng 3 squared? You are multiplying 3 times. 2 times, I mean 2 times by itself. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Ngayon, 6 and 9 can be cancelled out. By what number? By 3. So, 6 divided by 3 will give you 2. Or uh, 6, 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So, 2 times 3 is equal to 6 over 3 or 2. So, what is the unit of measurement that is equal to 2 meters squared? This is now our total area. Okay. Okay, next, volume. Kukunin na po natin ang volume. And the formula for the volume is equal to E cubed. So, volume that is equal to square root of 3 over 3 raised to the third power. So, ibig sabihin, ang square root of 3 cube, tatlong beses mo, imumultiply ang square root of 3. Di ba? So, square root of 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 over, tatlong beses din po, imumultiply ang 3. So, 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, so let us simplify now. 3 times 3 times 3, square root of 27. Over 3 times 3, 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Isi-simplify na po natin, guys, ang square root of 27. We know na wala pong square root of 27 na perfect. You can get the square root, but you are not allowed to use, to get the square root na nakadesimal. But if you are going to factor 27, ano po ba ang factor ng 27 na may isang perfect root? So, di ba, ba ang factors ng 27 ay 27, 1, 9, and 3? So, sa dalawa na po yan, ano po ang may, may perfect? Di po ba 9? So, 9, ikuha na po natin, if a factor 9 times 3 over 27. So, get the square root of 9, that is equal to 3, square root of 3 over 27. Ngayon, I'm going to ask you, can we cancel 3 and 27? No. So, yes. We can cancel 3 and 27 here because there is no operation between them. So, 3 and 27, ano po ang number na pwede ma-divide both 3 and 27? Di po ba 3? So, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. So, therefore, ang sagot po doon ay square root of 3 over 9. The unit of measurement is in cubic, cubic meter or meter cube. We cannot cancel square root of 3 and 9. Why? Because this is a whole number, tapos yung isa naman ay nakaradikan. So, hindi pwede po yun ma-cancel. So, therefore, the volume now, uh, guys, is equal to square root of 3 over 9 meter cube. So, that is the application of algebra using the process of rationalizing the denominator in getting the total area and a volume of a cube. Another example, find the total area and a volume of a cube whose face diagonal is 2 and 1 half inches. Have you noticed that our face diagonal is in mixed number? So, paano mo po yun gagawin para po masimplify mo po in uh, para magiging edge? So, let us apply also our algebra here. On the board, the formula for diagonal is equal to edge that is equal to square root of 3. So, substituting the value of a diagonal that is equal to 2 and 1 half, then equal to edge times square root of 3. So, ang gagawin nyo po kapag ito po ay nakamix fraction, gagawin nyo po as improper fraction. And how are you going to change mixed number to improper fraction? Multiply 2, 2 times 2 will give you 4 plus 1 will give you 5 over 2. So, naka-improper fraction na po. 
then e square root of 3. So, are we, uh, we are going to multiply both equation by square root of 3 and then square root of 3 so that we will be able to cancel square root of 3 here and square root of 3. And then, ang matitira na po is the edge. But, hindi pa po siya nakasimplify. So, dito, dito po ba guys, na ito po yung all over. Ito po yung division. So, the process that when you are dividing complex fraction, you are going to change the square root of 3 by the reciprocal. Alam po natin na ang lahat po ng whole number, ang reciprocal niya po ay 1. So, 5 over 2 times, ano po yung reciprocal ng square root of 3? That is equal to 1 over square root of 3. So, 5 times 1 will give you 5 and then over 2 square root of 3. Ito na po yung edge po natin. But, the denominator, it has a radical. So, para po, masimplify po natin, we are going to use what kind of process that is rationalizing the denominator. You need to multiply this 5 over 2 square root of 3 by 2 square root of 3. So, ito na po yung edge po natin, guys. So, E is equal to 5 over 2 square root of 3. So, isi-simplify pa po natin yon. So, multiply po natin by the denominator which is 2 square root of 3 over 2 square root of 3. So, let us simplify now. Edge is equal to 5 times 2 will give you 10 square root of 3 over 2 times 2 will give you 4 square root of 9. So, we know that 9 has a perfect square. So, isi-simplify pa po rin natin yun, guys. So, E is equal to 10 square root of 3 over 4 times 3. So, magiging 10 square root of 3 over 12. So, what number can we divide both 10 and 12. Di po ba 2? So, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Then, 12 divided by 2 will give you 6. So, yung edge na po natin na nakasimplify is equal to edge that is equal to 5 square root of 3 over 6. Okay. So, ito na po yung edge natin. So, since nakasimplify na po yon, then let us use our formula in getting the total area. So, let us uh, simplify or let us substitute our edge in our total area. Kasi ang hinahanap po natin, guys, ay total area. So, formula for the total area is equal to 6e squared. So, total area, so 6 times 5 squared of 3 over 6 raised to the second power. So, ibig sabihin, ang 5 na ito, imumultiply mo by itself. So, 5 times 5 will give you 25 times. Bakit po naging 3 to? Kasi, kinancel po natin ang ating index na 2 and 2. So, maiiwan ng 3. Over 6 times 6 will give you 36. So, do the, the operation first inside the parenthesis. So, 25 times 3 will give you 75. And then, multiply it by 6 will give you 450. Tapos, yung 36. So, 450 divided by 36. If you will divide it, then it will give you 12.5 inches squared. So, take note, the unit of measurement that we are going to use here is square inches or inches squared. Going to find for the volume. So since our edge is equal to 5 square root of 3 over 6, then using the formula, edge is equal, volume is equal to edge cube. So isa substitute po natin guys, ang ating uh, edge, given edge na 5 square root of 3 over 6. So ibig sabihin, ang 5 cube meaning 
tatlong beses mo i-multiply ang 5. 5 times 5 times 5 will give you 125. Tapos, tatlong beses mo rin i-multiply ang square root of 3. So, square root of 3 times square root of 3 will give you square root of 9 times square root of 3 will give you square root of 27. And then, this 6 raised to the third power, multiply it 3 times also by itself. So, 6 times 6 times 6 will give you 216. Ngayon, let us simplify. We know that square root of 27 is not a perfect square, but pwede mo po siya ma-factor na may perfect. So, ang factor po ng square root of 27 is 9 and 3. So, ngayon, imumultiply mo po ito. Kung whatever is the result of square root of 9, imumultiply mo po yon by 3. Okay? So, ilabas mo na po yung square root of 9, magiging 3, ang maiiwan square root of 3. So, 125 times 3, at saka square root of 3 over 216. If you will multiply the two numbers, 125 times 3 will give you 375 square root of 3 over 216. Okay, ngayon, let mag-isip po tayo kung ano po ang number na pwede ma-divide both 375 and 216. So, alam po natin na pwede ma-divide ang uh, 375 by 3 tapos by 3. Okay, so 375 divided by 3 will give you 125 square root of 3 over 216 divided by 3 will give you 72. Okay, what is the unit of measurement? So this is equal to inches cube. Okay, ngayon, iisipin mo po guys kung ano pa po ang number na pwede ma-divide sa both 125 and 72. Di po ba wala na? So, if there is no number that can we divide both 125 and 72, then this is our final answer for the volume. This is the application wherein our face diagonal is in mixed number and a whole number. Okay, so I hope guys that you learned something today and have a great day everyone.